Even as a boy, Sonny Asu was fascinated by First Nations art, and as a budding Kwakwakawak artist, he pursued the tradition. You know, I learned how to make drums, I learned how to make baskets, I learned how to make blankets. I was doing everything in a very kind of traditional mindset, but I was really trying to figure out how I could be different with it, how I could differentiate myself from the crowd. He found his inspiration in the pop culture he grew up in. Eating sugary breakfast cereals, watching cartoons, drinking Coca-Cola, you know, mass media and advertising. So I started exploring by mixing iconography from my past, like Mickey Mouse and Spider-Man, and giving it a native twist. So his work contains both traditional and pop culture symbols. This painting, in the shape of a Chilkat blanket, is called Hashtag Angry Birds after the popular iPhone video game and Twitter. There's always an element of pop culture within my work um, and an element of media within my work. For a long time, and I still do, I paint iPods on drums and I paint iPods and everything else. So there's always this element of using technology culture and mass media culture as, as a new way to display our personal lineage. Essentially, when we look at a totem pole or a mask, we're looking at a personal lineage of a specific family, like the Bear Clan, the Raven Clan, the Eagle Clan, whatever it may be. So Twitter and Facebook and items of technology like the iPod and the iPhone and Blackberry and computers, they all bring us together in this kind of clan-based system. These are discarded coffee cups, trash, but they're also copper, a symbol of wealth in First Nations culture. So they speak to the different perceptions of wealth between today's economy and traditional potlatch society. Our Western society hoards wealth. We save wealth to keep wealth, to buy things to display that wealth. You know, we go into a coffee shop and we buy a latte for six dollars and we walk around town subconsciously displaying that wealth. You know, we're able to walk around like this going, this is latte, it's whatever, it's six bucks, you know, I spend, this, this is how rich I am, right? Uh, but we just toss that cup away, right? Once you're done with that latte, the cup is worthless. In juxtaposition to that, um, we have the potluck society, which sees wealth in a dramatically different way than our Western society does. Uh, a potluck society will hoard wealth, will keep wealth to give it all away. And then the act of giving it all away is what deems you wealthy as a chief who is the host of the potlatch. His great-great-grandfather was Chief Billy Asu, who resisted the 67-year potlatch ban. That struggle underscores his silent series, painted drums stacked like Hudson's Bay blankets. I've settled on the title Silenced uh, for the series because I want to indicate how these drums were silent for 67 years during the potlatch band. And for me, the Hudson's Bay iconography, using the single stripe with the four points on the drum, painting those, those elements on those drums, relates to that silenced aspect because the blankets were actually used as a tool of colonization and as a tool of oppression and as a tool of genocide. Coke Salish is another political piece but also a celebration in response to the Olympics coming here. And I really just wanted people to understand that they were coming into unseceded Coast Salish territory, and you have to respect it. You're not just coming into Canada, you're not just coming into British Columbia, you're not just coming into Vancouver, you're coming into Coast Salish territory. And he's always exploring new ways to make art. Consider these masks, the expressions, the power. He found them much the way a sculptor finds his shape in the stone he carves. Except in Sonny's case, he simply found them at a log home developer site, the product of industrial chainsaws. But as I started looking at these objects, I really started to appreciate their inherent beauty. Like I really started to appreciate the pairing of, of the chainsaw marks with the, the old growth wood grains. And you know, these objects are completely found. I haven't done anything to them. The guy working the chainsaw that day just cut these things out and popped them out and left them there to rot. And I found them. And I just, I, I found the beauty in them. I found these faces. And the more that you look at them, the more you see these, these emotions, these, these expressions coming out. Sonny Asu wants to be seen as an artist without borders. You know, I'm challenging people to not take themselves so seriously and to open themselves up to any kind of discourse that is art. Because um, that's, that's the point of being an artist. You just want to make stuff. You know, you want to make art. You want to get people thinking. You want to get people engaged in the conversation. Um, to bring a better understanding to not only yourself, but to the issues that you hold within your work.